Hi friends, this is Bilal Haider and this is my 26th video lecture on expert advisors. In this video, I'll be talking about a trend indicator which is called the parabolic star. So let's go ahead and add our uh, parabolic star to our chart. As you can see here, it has uh, two um, 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 variables the first one is called step and the second one is called the maximum and we'll use these two default values in our uh, in our expert advisor so let's click OK when you click OK you um, these um, arrows will appear on your chart and this is called the parabolic star uh, indicator <clears throat> so let me tell you um, how you can use a parabolic star for your trading okay so the, st the strategy to use parabolic star uh, in your trading is that whenever you see a, a parabolic star dot appeared above the candlestick you enter a sell trade and when the parabolic star appeared below the candlestick you close that very sell trade and you open a buy trade okay so <clears throat> right here um let me go ahead and okay so when you see a parabolic star appeared below the candlestick right here you enter a buy trade and when you see a parabolic star dot appeared above the candlestick you close your buy trade and you enter a sell trade at the right moment okay so this is uh, the uh, this is the technique um, this is the strategy um, which is uh, used to uh, trade um, when using parabolic star <clears throat> so now we are going to create an expert advisor which will do that for which will do that automatically for us okay let's go ahead and write our um, expert advisor so I have created a new expert advisor and I have called it PSAR okay and I have written three variables um, above here the two variables as I have told you um, before these two variables <coughs> are the arguments of the parabolic star okay they uh, are having a decimal point in between them so these are the decimal um, point values so the data type will be double and the third variable uh, I have written here is the time frame okay so these three variables are needed uh, whenever you want to um, use parabolic star in your expert advisor okay the next thing i have done here uh, is uh, i have created a function and i call it p star and the return type of this function is boolean okay so what we are going to do here we'll check the condition uh, right here if the parabolic star is below the ask price will return true and when the parabolic star is above the ask price uh, will return false okay so this is the um, this is what we are going to do right here so to get the value of parabolic star at certain candle we use this function right here this is a predefined function um, which takes um, one two three four five arguments the first argument it takes is the symbol the symbol with which the expert is attached uh, right here it is your dollar so the null means whichever the chart you have attached your expert advisor that particular um, and the particular symbol will be passed as an argument to this function okay the next 
<coughs> argument it takes is the time frame we have um, defined our time frame and we have um, set it equal to zero zero means that whatever the time frame of the chart will be passed to this function when it will attach to that chart okay the next uh, argument it takes is the step so the step we have created the variable here and here we are passing that variable and the maximum and the last variable uh, the next the the last um, argument it takes is the uh, index number of the candle at which you want to know the price the value of the parabolic star so <coughs> in this particular uh, video we'll be using only the um, the very um, the last candle which is there on the chart right here if there are no candles after this so this will be the last candle so this is at index 0 0 1 2 3 okay the zeroth index at zeroth uh, index the value of parabolic star we want this uh, this value right here okay so we want to know if the value of um, parabolic star at this candle is above uh, is above the um, is above the ask price we want to enter our sell trade okay and if if this value if the candles value uh, if the parabolic stars value at this particular candle is below the ask value we want to enter a long trade okay so this is what we are going to do here now as um, this function will return the parabolic stars value of the last candle okay uh, for example in this case it will return this uh, value okay this parabolic star so now let's make conditions if if ask is greater than if ask if ask is greater than the parabolic star return true okay and else if ask is less than star return false else return em empty value okay now whenever we will call this function from our start function it will continue uh, executing uh, this particular function whenever a new tick um, will arrive and it will check these conditions and based on these conditions we can make or we can place our trades okay so um, if this particular function when called returns true will place a buy order and if um, this particular function returns false upon calling uh, will return or will place a sell order and close any buy orders so this is what we are going to do in our start function so let's make a variable of boolean type and let's call it check and check equals p star okay so this is the function we'll call this function from our start function and it will um, jump to that particular function and it will start executing the code written below here first it will get the value of parabolic star at the current candle and that value will be stored in this variable which is of type double and it's called star and then we will test the ask value at that particular time with this parabolic SARS value. If the ask value is greater than SAR, 
will return true and that uh, return value will be stored in this variable check and if uh, the asked value is less than SAR will return false and that very that value will be stored in this in this variable which is called check so these two conditions cannot be true at uh, the same time so uh, either it will be true or it will be false at at a particular instance of time okay so now the easy job here let's um, test our value which is uh, which is there in the check variable if check is true we want to open by and before opening by we wanted to close any cell orders okay else if check equals false what we want to do here um, we want to close all the buy trades and we want to open sell okay so um, when this expert advisor will be attached to the char what it will be doing it will um, start executing this function whenever a new tick arrives so if a new tick arrives right here it will test the it will call uh, it will call that particular function right here and it will jump in that in that function it will get the ver ver uh, the value of parabolic star right here and it will store that value inside this variable and then it will test the ask price of that moment and the value of star in this case the ask value is less than the parabolic SAR so ask value is less than the parabolic SAR it will come here and it will return false okay so when it will return false to our um, to our star function that um, that false will be stored in this check variable okay it will test the condition check equals true no it will not execute this piece of code it will come to this <coughs> this uh, piece of code right here and it will check check equals false yes that's true <coughs> so it will close any buy orders if there are any buy orders and then it will place a sell order okay so this is all for the tutorial i know this is very basic there are certain um, things which needs uh, which needs to be improved so uh, you try the uh, you try this um, uh, with your mt4 and you start you know, fixing the bugs and fixing the problems which are there in this uh, expert advisor and we'll see you in next video